Hey everyone, I'm Anna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you a small Russian provincial town where I live. Join me. which is behind me and uh, the name of my town is Simlansk. the population is about 15,000 people it was founded in 1672 but uh, actually the village which was founded that year doesn't exist anymore uh, it is under the man-made sea under water so uh, the actual years of building our present town uh, were 1950s that's when they started building a uh, Volgodon uh, hydroelectric power plant which is over there and then they decided to impound the area of the old Tsimlansk village by connecting uh, two rivers Volga and Don wine yards uh, years ago and uh, Tsimlansk wine was famous all over the Soviet Un Union and even the world. Even well-known Russian poet Alexander Pushkin mentioned Tsimlansk champagne in his novel Evgeny Onegin in 1820s. Another symbol of our town is fishing. Tsimlansk Sea and the Don River used to have a big variety of fish, especially the sturgeon. perpetuated on this monument is our uh, carpet factory. Blansk carpet factory used to produce a lot of carpets until 2010. Those bright carpets with ornamental designs used to be very popular. They were of uh, high quality consisting of 85% of wool. In those years and in the 90s the possession of the gold jewelry carpets and the fur coats and hats were uh, the measure of the welfare in the Russian 
Russian families. Nowadays, the factory doesn't work as well as other factories in our town, such as beer factory and fish factory. The winery is still working, but not at full capacity. Our town lost its former glory. Let me show you other places representing the past of our town. The obelisk of 1952 with sculptures. These are the designers, builders, geologists, railway men, all those people who build the Walgaton hydroelectric power plant. Inside the obelisk, there was a small museum dedicated to those who gave their best years of life to building the navigation canal. The local administration doesn't take care of this place and it might disappear in the near future. It has been in this poor condition for decades. I also wanted to show you the Soviet bus stops. They may be removed in the near future and changed for the modern kind. So they were decorated with mosaic. It can be called a piece of art nowadays. The things that were built in the past were made to last. Now we are in the oldest part of our town called Garadok. It was built the same years as the Navigation Canal and Volgodon Hydroelectric Power Plant in the early 50s. It's remarkable for its architecture and the park, built in the style of the 1950s resort, in the Stalin Empire style. This architectural style was formed in the Soviet Union in the 1930s. It's a very quiet part of our town, no shops and almost no cars here. Back in the 70s and 80s, our town was quite touristic and people from other countries of the Soviet Union came here for the summer holiday and stayed in the sanatorium or at the recreation place by the sea. Now let's go to the park called Primorsky, means seaside park. So this is the beginning of the park. This big building is the children's home. The children from the unfortunate families whose parents are drunkards and can't take the proper care of them stay here uh, the whole school week and go back home for the weekend. And this is the sanatorium, it's being reconstructed now. Here is the culture house, that's where all the concerts take place. My daughter goes here to her dance class. The park has been reconstructed recently and they've spent a lot of money on it, but the works haven't been finished yet. So they kind of finished this part and put the benches here, but inside of the park the works were done not in a proper way. As far as I know, the administration is now having the litigation process with the builder involving the quality issues of the work done and materials used. I hope in 2022 we'll see the park in its finished beauty. This is Rotonda, the favorite place of the newlyweds I guess everyone in our town has wedding pictures taken in this place.
The newlyweds put locks on this metallic tree as a sign of their love. This is a really good restaurant with a beautiful inner design. In this part of town there used to be two neglected public gardens. And finally, in 2021, the local government has financed the building of the parks for children. So they have built a sports park and a family park. Also, they've put outdoor sports equipment near the oldest school of our town here in Garadok. Let Roma blow. <laughs> so this is the center of the town. Here is the alley with the heroes of our town and the local authorities building. We are at a small marketplace now. To tell you the truth, I haven't been here for many years and it was very surprising for me to find out that they are selling clothes here. I thought that nowadays people buy clothes only in shops or online. But we can see that people are struggling to make their living and so they, they are still doing this. They are still selling all kinds of stuff here as they used to do 10-20 years ago when people had a habit of going to the marketplaces. Back then, Friday was an official market day.
точка от исполнения твоих музыкальных желаний. Это Лавра. So I guess that's probably it. I'm on the parking lot of uh, my apartment building and uh, it was a cold shooting day. I felt kind of uncomfortable shooting uh, at the marketplace. So the sales people, they were asking me what I was doing. So <laughs> I haven't had a big experience of making videos and I felt uncomfortable and weird. So, but I hope you are not bored with my video and actually enjoyed it. So, subscribe. Bye.